Hello everybody, this is Medium Jane Hamilton Parker. Uh, we've just come back from Italy so I'll be able to do a few more on my channels. I thought today I'd like to talk about miracles because there really is miracles that happen all the time. Um, it's just a few ideas I've got here about miracles because we've had saints going back in history that's performed miracles. Um, and amazing things that happen, that miracles do happen. So I'm just going to read a few what I've wrote down today. A miracle is something that happens beyond the scope of reality and occurs sometimes within a religion, or does it? I mean, we've got, um, one could say it's a belief system. I mean, the Catholic Church believes in miracles. I believe in miracles that still happen. Um, are miracles from the divine? Are they from a, an energy that we don't quite understand? Is it supernatural powers? Is it beyond um, quantum and physics? Something that scientists haven't got their head around at the moment. I can remember um, two years ago I fell down the stairs <laughs> twice and damaged my leg and then we went into Covid, didn't we? Where nobody's allowed in hospitals unless you're seriously ill. Uh, and I can remember it was very painful. I must have torn all my ligaments in my legs and I might have fractured or had a fem uh, feline, very fine fracture. But I was determined to get better and not let it, um, I suppose, the power of the mind. And I can remember um, I was walking around Rome about three weeks ago and I thought, well, if a miracle is going to happen, I'd certainly like one now because I feel like a, a cripple. and. Craig and Danielle and the children are all walking up the road and I'm, I feel a little bit sluggish. So I was outside um, a church because while they all went down to the catacombs and everything, I thought, well, I'm just going to send a prayer up and say, well, if you're listening to me, I'd like a miracle now. Put my leg in order because I really do feel I want a miracle to happen. Believe it or not, the next day I could work, walk perfectly. Um, and as I say, I was really sluggish and, uh, and I found it difficult walking and I was in tremendous, immense pain. Uh, and then my leg has been perfect since. So is that a miracle or is that the power of the mind? One never knows. Right. Um, perhaps, you know, when we think of quantum and physics and that, perhaps it's the power of the mind because the mind is very strong energy because everything is run on consciousness and energy uh, and it might be so because I know Deepak Chopra talks about quantum physics and healing and I think he has a point there because I feel a very clever man uh, that studied and also being a doctor and because being a doctor they've got a very meant to have a very scientific mind so he's quite unique in his teachings though it's the Hindu teachings uh, and his meditation, but he's quite remarkable. Right, and we do know Deepak Chopra very well because we've done filming with him uh, and then been to a few of his premieres. Right, now there's an old saying, I think, there's more things in heaven and earth, Hiroshio. <laughs> certainly is. You know, I always think a baby that's born, that's a miracle because you immediately as a mother you check their fingers and their toes and to actually create a baby between two people uh, that's born with normal hair teeth and everything it's a miracle I think the first time you hear a baby cry it's a miracle it's a wonderful thing that you see creation like that that to me is a miracle um, also you know when I used to be a nurse I always thought it was a miracle a child who has a brain tumour and then is cured, not necessarily with having chemotherapy or radiotherapy, and suddenly this child is absolutely cured, a miracle, and the doctors sometimes baffled with all these different things. Um, I can remember reading an article, a dog was tied to a tree in the middle of the woods and left to die and no hope whatsoever. And it was a miracle that somebody happened to go hiking in the middle of nowhere and found this dog. 
you know, this dog survived, but you've got this kind person taking this dog in. So it's a miracle that that dog was saved. Um, a car crash and how people survive is a miracle. Sometimes you hear that the parents have been killed, but two young children that back had survived it. Um, and that's a miracle in itself. Are these things karmic? Are these things lessons? Are these things, have we got a, not looking at the bigger picture, what happens here on Mother Earth? Miracles to say, are they karmic? Well, some documented miracles, and if we go back into religion, 17th century, and we go back to the time of Jesus, are documented. So everything that is true that's written in the Bible, connecting with Jesus and the Gospels, um, we talk about miracles. One miracle that I was fascinated with was when it was a wedding feast that Jesus turned water into wine. The miracle was performed after the host ran out of wine. And that's the Gospel of John. So I expect a few people who was planning weddings to do, but like a few miracles. <laughs> Why is it always red wine? <laughs> I like to know. According to the second legend, St. James miraculously cured a paralytic man and averting his own execution and causing the prosecutor to convert. This man was completely paralysed. There's no way in his spinal injury. And there was a miracle happened by this saint. Miracles have cured cancer, not every cancer. Um, sometimes there's miracles and I believe in the power of prayer. From another one, um, miracles at Lourdes. An almost blind woman recovered her sight by going there um, and she couldn't see and she was feeling her way and she was just praying really hard with her soul and her love and just saying to God, please let me have my sight so I can see the joys of the world. And within 24 hours, her sight was completed. And as I say, I've done the baby. Life is a miracle, isn't it? When you, you look at all our DNA, you look at um, how people grow from a baby to a toddler, to a child, to a teenager, to a woman or to a man. It's a miracle how all these things happen, isn't it? Even the animals, it's miracles how they survive nature. Um, how animals are uh, treated, it's a miracle what happens to them. And it's a miracle that bad health is restored to good health is a miracle. Life is a miracle, but people don't see that. Nature is a miracle when you see all the seasons changing, all the flowers that have died wintertime that come back again, that's a miracle. Seeing nature seeing trees that have been there hundreds and thousands of years how they stood by time is a miracle now when i went with cray to um assisi we because you all know about francis of assisi um i remember going into the church and there was two doves sitting on jesus cross and the guide said ever since i was a little boy when these two doves die then another two come back so I said, but are the wings clipped? That's why they can't fly. He said, uh, Signorita, no. <laughs> and there was another miracle there where uh, there was a sister, um, their sister St. Clair from St. Clair Order, that cut her hair and devoted herself to Sir Francis of Assisi. And, uh, and I believe he had um, some form of scabs and plagues and things, and he was cured of that. Um, you know, and it's a very strange place going to Sissi because you go into a church and there's a, the original church that's built and they built a church over it and it, it's quite unique and you can feel a presence and a power there, definitely feel a power there. Um, and I can remember also travelling to India uh, and going into Sai Baba's museum and put a party. And there was all different religions and different things that happened and all around the world. Because as you know, Swami believes all religions should be as one. That's what I believe too. And the power of love is the highest thing to have. And I saw miracles there. 
definitely saw miracles. I saw the booty coming out of his fingertips. It wasn't a tablet crushed or anything. It was actually in front of me that I saw that happening. And I saw how people were, you know, incredible man. He had a hairstyle like Jimi Hendrix. It felt like his aura was on fire and, and sort of floated along. A very tiny, tiny man. And he would stand in front of you and you would feel this immense energy radiating from this person. Well, he was an avatar. So an avatar has all these supernatural powers. Uh, and I've spoken to an Indian boy that actually saw Swami levitate a ring above his finger there. Uh, and there's quite miracles happening because India is a beautiful country, though you've got poverty there. We have poverty here, don't we, as well? But, I mean, that really doesn't prepare you for the kind of um, poverty you see. But those beautiful people can wake up with a big smile on the, their face and happy because they look at the sun, they look at the moon and think it's a miracle we're still here. And the way it is. But you see what's happening around the world at the moment. We've got people arguing, people discontented, people that are fighting. They can't look and see the beauty around. Uh, it's like our planet's being taken over. And one would want to wish a miracle to happen, that all people could be loving and people that could share and people that could be helping each other rather than people feeling, you know, greed, greed, greed uh, and ending up stabbing and killing people. It's not, it's, you know, it's a miracle we're still here in the 21st century, quite frankly. I mean, if we send our prayers and our thoughts out for good things, then good things will happen if we've got a high wave of energy. But when people have negative forces, it seems to spiral down. It seems to be like a dark energy and to cause trouble. But I think, you know, every day is a blessing that we wake up and it's a miracle. We don't know we've been asleep at night until we wake up. That's a miracle. But miracles are things that are meant to be rather than man-made. Because miracles are things that bring us back to our life force and energy. I mean, Jesus performed quite a lot of miracles. We haven't seen anything like that since Jesus' time. Well, Jesus was just a teacher, really. Though he's the son of God. He came to show us the way and show us incredible things, incredible things. And, you know, it's a miracle how some people survive when places have been bombed. Um, and like the First World War, Second World War, even the war horses, that some survived it. Perhaps it is all linked up with karma, how things. I think when we see amazing things, uh, it changes us. It brings out love and compassion. And I feel that's what the world is lacking at the moment. I mean, I feel that we're the only country here we don't really look after our pensioners for a start. It's like robbing the poor. It's a bit like a Robin Hood society, not looking after our own. The Chinese people look after the pensioners. So do the Italians and so do the Polish people. I mean, it seems so wrong that these people have paid in their life 40 years or more, national insurance stamp, worked hard all their life, life had dignity, and suddenly they're stripping them of everything. The people are too frightened to say anything, can't they? We're not allowed to mention immigrants. We're not allowed to show a voice. We've got to give to those others. Is it all about... Votes, let's just all hope and pray a miracle that is going to be a reform and we can change things um, for the better. It's all about power, isn't it, at the moment? It's all about money, making money, ripping people off. Uh, it is such a shame, isn't it? I hope and pray in this 21st century we do have miracles that happen and help those less fortunate those that are in hospital at the moment, um, you know, the staff are so overrun, there's not the money there and the money is running out. So, you know, all this money and that, money is really for sharing and that. It was a great thing, the National Health Service, starting from the 
53 and continue on and well as we come to 21st century it doesn't seem the resources are there because we're going into the age of technology uh, where everything's computerized everything's on apps they're trying to take the money away from you so you're doing self-service on these machines there's no service so you know the gone are the days where there's a lovely grocery shop or a lovely green grocer so you go in and you have a slice of bacon or a slice of cheese you had service now it's all self-service it's all after it's all money it's all money and I, I feel you know we want miracles to happen in the power of good and the power of love that's why I'm a great believer in being positive and sending out thoughts if we know anybody terminally ill in hospital we ask for a miracle to happen or great um, from the divine intervention that helps them by many people doing that and good thoughts because every thought that goes out to the etheric are good thoughts right now i'm going a bit randomly off of it but um one of my favorite saints is father pia who was a cappuccino cup of monk and he could perform miracles he had stigmata where it used to bleed from the fingers, which is meant to be representing Christ now to the, the cross and divine. Now that was a very holy person that did perform miracles, had nothing for himself, but just wanted to do the power of good. That was a saint. Um, and it's a bit like Mother Teresa, really. She wouldn't follow the Catholic Church. <laughs> She's a bit of a rebel. She used to pick these babies up from the gutter and say, I'm picking them up because they want to leave this world knowing they were loved in my arms. And then a Catholic priest was sent out, you're not to do this, goes get she said, I follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. <laughs> now that to me was a good person, but even going towards the end of her, her life, uh, she was afraid, really afraid, and then got frightened um, and things. But, um, you know, there's different people that are performing miracles all the time and doing good things, but they're not recognize or known for it because they like doing the work quietly we've got some great healers in this country all around the world brazil seem to have very good healers and people are always putting other people first and asking for a miracle but i'm afraid if it's your time to go no miracle on god's earth is going to save you if it's your time to make your transition over to the spirit world because some people so worn out towards the end of their life and when they make the transition and they go to uh, a better place they go to the spirit realm is a place of love it's a place where you see your loved ones what's you know and i just feel you know i have many nurses that come here um, and have to deal with death all the time and some of them have gone through trauma themselves but they're still giving and helping others so when you see these little babies that die, especially in a, a mother has to go full term to deliver in labour and that baby dies, perhaps that baby's come to save the mother. You know, perhaps that's one form of a miracle, but not a miracle if that mother uh, was sent away from the hospital and wasn't monitored and then suddenly discovering after child was born that the mother had diabetes uh, or that I'm hemorrhage, this and the placenta is in front of the cervix and everything, you know, and it does affect people. I always think that if you pray really hard, your heart and your soul, and you ask for miracles for others, I always ask for the children all around the world, they may be fed, they may be safe, even the animals, because animals are important, because animals give us unconditional love, they don't ask for a lot just to be well cared for. You know, some people have um, found a, a dog that's so thin, full of ticks, full of mange and everything. And it's a miracle how they've been brought back to life and saved, that's a miracle. Now, if any of you have experienced miracles uh, and really experienced it with people that have been helped and saved, then do write in my Facebook, um, YouTube, and I would try to get back to you. But I thought, you know, miracles, 
it's really a vast subject. Now tonight in our film studio we're going to talk about miracles. That'll be at seven o'clock this evening. Um, of course it's uh, Friday the 13th isn't it? So let's hope for a miracle. But I'm not talking about miracles you want a miracle to happen to ask for uh, lottery numbers. That doesn't happen because that's a form of gambling as far as I'm concerned. But some people do good with it and other people just waste it. You know, perhaps that's karmic. Anyway, um, thank you for coming on here. Uh, I try to do predictions when I can and because Craig and I are quite busy uh, and it's trying to fit everything in because the trouble is I'm booked up such a long way for doing readings uh, and I don't really get a chance for doing things I like. Um, but I enjoy doing readings. I wouldn't do it. Anyway, do take care and I hope your miracle happens for you and I wish you love, peace and most of all, good health. God bless you all.